So we've come to northern Spain, to a little village called Puente Viesco, which is nestled into a mountain range called the Cantabria Mountains. It was about a seven hour drive to get here from the Vizier Valley, and like the villages there, Puente Viesco is surrounded by important prehistorical sites. We're gonna visit the most famous, the Cave of El Castillo, as we head even further into the past. So we're here at um, a series of caves called uh, Cuevos del Monte Castillo, in English, the, uh, the Caves of Monte Castillo. We're gonna go into one cave today that um, is really, really famous and really, I think, important called El Castillo. There's a bunch of caves here. There's five or six caves uh, up on this area that have uh, prehistoric art, but you can only go in two of them, and El Castillo is by far the best of the two. Um, and, uh, you know, I think this cave is significant at least uh one reason it's significant is that uh um and again it's just so hard to get your mind around these kinds of uh, time periods but uh there is really good evidence here at this cave of uh human occupation uh, not constant but uh sort of periodical um human occupation for 150,000 years um so it's a really really long time for there to be people visiting these same caves. And um, just as spectacularly, I think, um, the art here, there's lots of art in El Castillo. And some of the art, the earliest art is dated pretty confidently to about 40,000 years ago, 42, 43. And, um, and the most recent is dated around 12,000. So that means that for 30,000 years, people were coming to these caves to make art. For 30,000 years. So one of the really cool things about this place, from like an organizational point of view, is just how much educational programs they have, um, especially ones for kids. This is a, uh, there's right here's a classroom, um, a little classroom for kids where they have all kinds of activities, teaching them how to make fire, how to flint knife, um, how to throw spears. And, uh, but my favorite, my personal favorite, I'll show you this right here. Um, they've made this uh, really kind of remarkable uh, mural which is uh, these negative handprints. And as you'll see, these negative handprints are a really important aspect uh, of El Castillo Cave and one of the reasons why it's so important and so famous. Um, and so I just love the idea of teaching kids and teaching other people about these ancient life ways that, uh, you know, that are, that are gone. The cave, including its entrance, is still an active archeological site. Scientists have been carefully sifting through the layers of sediment here since 1903, and they've removed an enormous amount of material. You can see the original ground level here. As in most caves, you're not allowed to take pictures or videos while inside, but beautiful pictures exist, which were taken by professional photographers. To me, they're mesmerizing and mysterious. If a Magdalenian artist had traveled here from the Vizier Valley 15,000 years ago, some of the art on the walls would have already been more than 20,000 years old. What did it mean to them? Someone who came here 15,000 years ago couldn't have known just how ancient this art is, but they knew who made it. They knew that it was made by people like them because the artists also left negative prints of their hands. These are, for me, by far, the most emotionally charged kinds of prehistoric art. Standing before them is otherworldly. You can almost feel the presence of another human being there with you.
for deep time is measured in units that humble the human instant, millennia, epochs, eons, instead of minutes, months, and years. <laughs>